Okay, we continue deformer menu with wrap deformer. With this wrap deformer, we can bend the object in any direction that we want. Insert a cube and in this situation, we don't hold a shift because if you hold a shift, something like this happen. In wrap deformer, we don't need to <coughs> holding shift and fit to object. The position is not important. It's affect object, but it's not that important. Hold, don't holding shift, just insert the <coughs> wrap deformer and uh, make the wrap deformer child of the um, target object. And as you can see, we have it. You can change the wrap deformer position. Of course, we, ch we change the uh, scale of the object, but it's not, not, it's not important. We can change the sitting with my, our eyes. And in this situation, why the object does not bend? Because we have very one just polygon. We need more segment here to uh, bend the object. So going back to the cube and increase the number of the segments in any direction. You can type any number here and as you can see, we have bend. Of course, you can go into the uh, cube and change its dimensions any dimension that you want going to the wrap we here in object we have uh, if you are going in a model mode you can change the dimensions of the wrap you can change the width as you can see you can increase or decrease the width you can change the height it's for a spherical we explain you can change radius or of course you can change the whole wrap size. I will explain in text. In wrap, we have uh, wrap mode, it's free call. As you can see, you can change this it's free call and here you can change the height now. As you can see, you can wrap the object in any direction or cylindrical or vertical. When you are cylindrical, those uh, objects those sitting will be turned off and if you go to the spherical all of them will be active those are longitude or altitude they are from degrees you can change you can control the degrees wrap degrees here you can change the wrap degrees okay here you can change the wrap degrees you can go further to object and turn 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 and here you can change the movement as you can see you can change the movement and <clears throat> increase the uh, longitude and angle and you can move it up okay right click right click right click right click to change going to the default here you can change the scale of the object and here you can control the tension the tension uh, of the wrap okay I explained it with the text insert a text of course you can bend the spline suite we type into two real cells middle I explain those settings in the previous lesson refer to them here you can of course uh, don't hold shift just insert it and uh, make a child of the text and as you can see it's <coughs> bending if uh, because our texts are very long so click uh, wrap in a scale and scale it up to uh, cover whole text you can uh, reduce its height and here you can change its settings as you desire okay you can change the width to uh, our text width to our wrap okay you can change your height width and radius to your desired result now I want to give an example about or for example you can change the uh, sorry, longitude end 
bend, 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 and you can change the movement like this and cause that interesting effect. Okay, I want to exp uh, explain something. We, as you can see, we uh, wrap the text and you can uh, hold Alt and give the text that bend it to the extrude and this will be happen extrude in a one direction but i want to ex uh, uh, give you another example holding control and click and drag it to copy whole of them another in this one in this <clears throat> mode i want to do another thing i want to give the text first extrude as you can see and after that I want to change the I want to wrap the extrude not a spline okay you can change it the best way for wrap is first you create your 3d object from a spline and then the result of the extrude you can wrap the result of the extrude okay for assigning a wrap to the extrude as I said before you can insert a null object and bring them whole both of them under null and as you can see the wrap assigned to the that extrude here and you can change its parameter as you want this is for a spree call here you can change the tension that you want you can animate all of them and as you can see the direction of the extrude is here is very correct but in sometimes we like this mode. In this mode, first we uh, wrap the spline, then extrude it. In here, we first extrude and we wrap the extrude to it. Okay, this is a spline wrap, very simple and easy. But here we have a field, I explained them when we reach to the cloner, but you can insert a linear uh, field. It control the, um, the strength of the uh, common with a linear field as you can see if we reach here with a fall off we here we have in the front of the linear we have 100 percent of uh, um, common it's a completely bent and if you go into the this field with a fall off you're going to zero percent of common here you can use any field with any shape. Those are changing shape. For example, you can change a spherical or any shape that you want. I explain them in detail. Don't worry. Okay. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.